Dear friends, welcome to my video. Kindly click on the CC button for subtitles. Quantum physics, also known as quantum mechanics, is a branch of physics dealing with phenomena on a very small scale, such as molecules, atoms, and subatomic particles like electrons, protons, and photons. Its mathematical framework is both profound and peculiar, underpinning the peculiar nature of the quantum world itself. This essay seeks to explore the fundamentals of quantum physics math in an accessible way. A central principle of quantum physics is the wave-particle duality. Particles like electrons and photons sometimes exhibit properties of particles and at other times behave like waves. This duality is encapsulated in the Schrödinger equation, a core equation of quantum mechanics. The equation predicts the future behavior of a dynamic quantum system, and its solutions, called wave functions, provide information about the system. The wave function, typically denoted as psi, x, t, in one dimension, describes the state of a quantum system. However, it does not provide the exact location or momentum of a particle. Instead, it provides probabilities. This is a major departure from classical physics, where the exact state of a system can be determined. This leads to the concept of superposition. A quantum system can exist in multiple states simultaneously until a measurement is made. A classic example is Schrodinger's cat, simultaneously alive and dead until observed. Mathematically, this is represented as a linear combination of basis states, reflecting the probabilistic nature of quantum systems. Quantum physics math also includes the notion of operators. In quantum mechanics, physical quantities like position, momentum, and energy are associated with corresponding operators. For instance, the momentum operator in one dimension is defined as E partial differential, partial differential x, where h is the reduced Planck constant, i is the imaginary unit, and partial differential, partial differential x represents the partial derivative with respect to position. When an operator acts on a wave function, it provides the possible outcomes of a measurement and the corresponding probabilities. Then there's quantum entanglement, a quantum state where particles become linked and the state of one directly influences the other, regardless of distance. This phenomenon, mathematically described by a wave function encompassing multiple particles, is a cornerstone of quantum physics and underlies technologies like quantum computing and quantum cryptography. Braquette notation, or Dirac notation, is a standard mathematical framework in quantum mechanics. States, kets, are denoted, psi, while the dual quantities, brass, are psi. This notation is particularly convenient when dealing with complex conjugates and inner products in Hilbert space, a key mathematical structure in quantum mechanics. Matrix mechanics, another mathematical approach to quantum mechanics, represents states as matrices instead of differential equations. Werner Heisenberg, Max Born, and Pascal Jordan developed this in 1925. This approach is especially useful in finite dimensional systems and forms the basis for quantum gate operations in quantum computing. Despite quantum physics math's complexities, it is a necessary toolset to describe the strange yet fascinating quantum world. The math is not merely a language but an integral part of quantum mechanics itself. It allows us to capture and describe phenomena that classical physics cannot, from the uncertainty principle to quantum teleportation. While the mathematical formalism of quantum physics may seem daunting, it is a beautiful and elegant system, a key that unlocks the deepest secrets of the universe. It provides insights into nature on its most fundamental level and continues to inspire research and technological innovations. From this perspective, quantum physics math isn't just a subject of academic interest but an essential cornerstone of modern physics and technology. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up. Thanks for your support.